Hey friends, so good to see you. I wanted to show you some of the things that I got for Black Friday. I do have some gifted items in there as well, but majority of it is stuff that I bought with my own money and the things I was gifted, I also got to pick out. So if you're interested in seeing what's been catching my eye lately this season, I have it in this video right now for you. So I shot from a couple of different places, um, but I think I'm gonna start with the gifted items first. This is not sponsored. It's just something I've already actually shown on my Instagram. But I want to show it here because the items still are available and I think they're really cute. So I've been lucky enough to work with Tord over on my Instagram for the past couple of months and I've been loving the styles that they have, especially their online styles. I wish more of it would come into the store, but I'm still loving it. Now, I have been a jeans girl for a very long time, but the one kind of jeans I have not been back to were like flares and honestly even boot cut. It's kind of like, e -e -e, I don't know about boot cut. They reminded me a lot of high school. You know, that's the style I wore in high school. And I look back at the pictures and I'm like, mm, did that did that look good on me? I don't know. But I have finally dipped my toe back into the pond when it comes to flare jeans. And once I found a pair that I liked, I have now accumulated more pieces. And one of those styles is from Tord. Now this honestly isn't much to look at here, but of course I'll show you me trying these on. These are the Sky High A-Line Flare Premium Stretch Jeans. And I will say the stretch is really good. It's really comfortable while also holding its shape all day long. I wore this over to my mom's house and we watched a movie. So I sat there for like two hours and then we went to dinner and the jeans looked great the entire night and they were comfortable to just sit in. It also has this like inch long border along the hem of the legs, which I think does give it some extra style. So I really liked this piece. I went with my normal size, which right now is a 20 bottom and it fit really comfortably. Now, with the flare jeans, I wanted to create some like holiday looks for Tord. So I am not normally a graphic tee girl, but I did go with a graphic tee this time. And I thought it was really cute. It's just this little girl, you know, having a good little snowy day, a little bit vintage style. Uh, and when I say a little bit vintage style, I mean vintage style. Um, it's a graphic without it being like too much of a graphic and it's a really soft tee. So this one was super comfortable. I tucked it in with the jeans and I wore it with this jacket. Sorry, I got fuzzies all over from like different things I've been wearing plus my cat. Anyways, I paired it with this jacket. Now I had actually tried this jacket on at a Torrid store previously, so I knew I liked it. Um, and that was just the time for me to get it. So it has this faux fur um, collar and then a ruby red corduroy material. I got this in a size two. Let me see what size I got the top in. The top I got in a size, the top I also got in a size two. Um, so I got the jacket in a size two, fit me perfectly, and it really rounded out the look, gave it a nice color. And my cat is playing with the tripod. Love this jacket, a nice weight to it, but it's not gonna keep you super warm if it's really cold out there. This is more of like, I'm going in between buildings. I'm going from the car to a building and I don't need to be that, that warm kind of jacket. Okay, so the second look I did with Torrid uh, was all built around a skirt and a pair of boots because I love their wide calf boots. So I wanted to get a pair and I got this pair, which has this like really high platform, reminding me of 70s style. So obviously I'm falling into that because I got the flare jeans as well. And I got these in a 9WW. Um, and I will say I, I don't, you know, I haven't measured my calves in a minute, but this would not have fit me in the past. It, it does fit now. And I had a hard time seeing on the thing if this was the, yeah, this is the extra wide calf. So I'll try to remember to measure my calf and put it on there. It fit me, but I don't think it'd fit much larger. It's maybe a tiny bit larger, but it really kind of fit me correctly the way it was. But it is a really beautiful style. I like kind of the shiny faux leather. I like the style lines on the boot. I also like the platform heel. Um, I will say it only has like these small ridges, so definitely not to be worn in any kind of icy weather. This is a style boot, not a function boot. Now I did wear some tights from Torrid in the video. Um, I would say they are okay quality. I did happen to sit down on some cement because um, we were at a fountain and my tights ripped. So, okay quality, but I love this skirt. This skirt is part of the Betsy Johnson line. I typically am not into the Betsy Johnson line, but I like the skirt and let's face it, it's red, it's red plaid, it's very classic Christmas. I got this, I believe in a size two. It is nice and stretchy, but it's gonna be like a firm stretch. Um, it's really gonna hold its shape well. I didn't have to 
pull it down or anything throughout the day. It stayed exactly where it was supposed to be. And I thought it was super cute. I did have an off the shoulder top. I'm almost like don't want to show it to you because it got some cat hair on it. So let's just put it down there and you'll see the video. But um, I believe I got that one in a two as well. Watch me lie. I did. It's a one. Um, so I got that in a one. I do think that one's a little bit oversized. Um, I'm glad I went with the one for it and it fit really beautifully. I tucked it into the skirt. It was fine. So you'll see that in the video. And let me show you these pictures I took by the fountain. It was perfection. Okay, I got two more items that were gifted and then we'll move on. But this is a new brand to me. This is a brand called Star Wides and they are a wide fit shoe. I believe they only have three styles. They might have a fourth, I'm not sure. But it's a, it's a small business. It's a woman who won her own well-fitting wide shoes. So what do you do when you can't find it? You design it. And that's what she did with Star Wides. Comes in a really beautiful box with a red and a pink. Um, and then she gifted me two styles. So the first style is her ballet pump. And I believe it is called, yep, just ballet black patent leather. And it has a really beautiful sheen to it. If you like that style, let me actually put them in the right direction. All right. All right. Be really beautiful sheen to it. As you can see inside, like the inside soles and such are made for comfort. They have padding. They have quilting. It's really nice, strong padding. It's going to give you comfort, but also support your feet. So I really appreciate how much thought she put into these. The bottom is a nice grippy material, so you're not going to be sliding around. These are high quality through and through, and she really tested them out to make sure they are truly wide fit. So this is not like your barely wide fit you find at the department store. This is a true wide fit, um, and I really am glad that they're offering these styles. I also have it in a loafer, which a loafer like has always been really hard to fit for me because of my wide feet. So. I was really excited that she sent me the loafer style and it's just loafer black full grain sheep leather. So these are high quality real leather um, if you are interested in that. And you'll notice that this pair has the exact same really beautifully, thoughtfully designed interior to the shoes. So you get that same comfort and then you get the loafer style. And these actually fit my wide feet. So I'm very excited about them. And one thing I've always noticed is like, my foot is wide, but not necessarily long. And sometimes the other loafers like are just really, really long through the foot and my ankle is like a bigger ankle. So I love that these actually fit appropriately on my feet. They show the right amount of foot um, ratio. So you'll see these on me. They're very cute and very comfortable. So thank you to Tord and Star Wides for gifting me those items. I'm gonna be wearing them a lot. I feel fabulous in them and I love when I find good plus size products. Okay, so now we get into the damage that I did during Black Friday. And for the most part, I had really good sales. So um, I'm gonna go through some things. Some were hits, some were s, some were misses. Let's just talk about them. I'm of course gonna show you me wearing them and I wanna hear your opinion on a couple of the pieces. Let's start with some small businesses because of course they need our support the most. Um, first up is this brand, What Lo Wants. Um, I've actually had a couple of her items now and she is a small business brand, plus size woman owned. She designs all of her own things. She has all of her own fittings. They're really impressive with what they are doing. And I saw this, like a lot of times what they'll have is they'll have like a textile that they really like and they'll bring it out in a couple different styles. I've been really into mesh dresses, like see-through-ish dresses. Um, and I've also been really into bodycon maxis. And hello, this is exactly it. Um, so it is the mesh dress. And I wanna say this is called the Florencia maxi dress. Um, and yeah, so it says high quality, ethically made pieces designed to celebrate plus size bodies, not hide them. Female founded, made with love in Los Angeles. So I love this. Um, and I really like the style lines she has on this piece. I don't know if you can see those through the camera, but it has style lines. So those are gonna stand out as you wear this piece. A nice, beautiful print, beautiful mesh fabric. It's really high quality. I love how it fits. You can kind of shimmy it up if you want it to be a little bit shorter. Um, and I am excited to wear this out. This will definitely be a wear out with my friends kind of piece for a night out. So this next set of items comes from a boutique called Chic Soul. And I've seen them online for a long time, but I haven't purchased. 
frankly because I used to be a size 30, 32 and they, I think they might have some extended class sizes. I don't know, but the options weren't there for me in terms of sizing and in terms of style. Now I'm more so a 2X. I'm able to buy more things um, from more brands because a lot of brands stop at 3X. That's just kind of how I'm able to access it a little bit easier now. So I've always been curious about Chic Soul. They do have some really pretty styles and they were having a $20 sale. So each of these items was $20 and then my friend Allie has a discount code with them. It might still be working and I got an extra percentage off. So her discount code is Allie1115 and I use that to get a discount on top of the $20 sale. I love a sale on sale. So Allie had made some posts with them and she wore this top and this is not a top I typically would wear because it has a bit of like a camo print to it, which is just simply not ever been a pattern that I've liked. But this one has a ribbed fabric and it's a little bit more abstract in the way that they have the camo because of how the ribbing kind of comes in and layers on top of it to change up the print. And I thought it looked really cute on her. She wore it with a mini skirt. Um, I've actually already worn this to work one day and I just like it. It does have these, um, what's the word I wanna use? exposed that's the first one exposed seams i got there eventually it has exposed seams which also kind of brings this style in a little bit of like a raw hemline so i thought this was really cute it's from the brand first love by love lynn so um i liked it i got this in a size it doesn't say let's see i got this in a size 1x for reference and i am an 1820 now the next step I got is because people have been telling me that red is my color, so I wanted to get some red. And this one is from the brand Zanena, and it only came in a 1X, 2X, or 2X, 3X. So I got the 1X, 2X, and I hoped it fit, and it did because it's a nice big open piece, and the sleeves is that dolman sleeve, so it's a really big piece. Now the, the sleeve itself is cuffed, and it's sewn cuffed. This part has a seam on the interior that is not stretchy, so... I found this seam to be a little bit uncomfortable. It's fine at my elbow, but I wish it was stretchy like the rest of the piece. I didn't like that, um, but I do like the top. To me, to my eye, for some reason, it's not just pulling red, it's pulling red pink. And so I don't know if that's just me and my eyes or if it's actually reddish pink, but um, I would have loved it if it was like true, true red and and not more like tomatoey red than pinkish red. But I still think it's cute. I'll definitely wear it. Tis the season for red. I think it still looks nice on me. I'll definitely get make use of this piece. The third top is actually the one I'm wearing. I wore it today. Obviously, I'm wearing it right now. But today, earlier, I went to the DMV because it was time to renew my license and I had to go in this time. Um, and I really like it. It's a chenille fabric. It's very soft, very stretchy. Um, it is comfy, cozy, warm. And... It is from the brand Sweet Lovely by Jen in a 1X, 2X. And I think this is a good fit. Um, I would say this top would, pro would probably fit up to a size 22 max um, because it is blousey and stretchy, but it's up to you how you want it to fit. If you want it to be more fitted, then you know go down in sizes. Then the last thing I got was this dress. And I will admit that when I saw the $20 sale, I was a little late to the game. It was like ending in 10 minutes. So I was... <sighs> You know, trying to figure out which styles I really wanted because I wanted to make use of the sale. And I saw they had a couple different dresses with this pattern. They had a couple different backings. Um, I chose the one that had like more black tone to it. I do still really like this pattern and I think it's really pretty, something I can wear to work, etc. The one thing I don't think I realized when I ordered it was that it had like this bell sleeve. It's a double bell sleeve. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm really weird about fabric flopping around my wrist. I get annoyed super easily, but it does have a seam right here that would be make it more um, elbow or like T length on me. And I'm highly considering getting it altered to do that. Now, this dress I got, I wanna say in a 2X. This is from Beeson River Plus. And I'm hoping it tells me what size it is here. Yeah, I got a 2X and I kind of wish I had gotten a 3X just because it very much so skims the body and it's short. I'm 5'4", and it's, it's short on me. So um, I do think if I wear this, I'll wear it with opaque tights. And 
Um, the thing is like they have pockets in the dress and where the pockets hit me is kind of right before my hips. And so it adds extra bulk there. So I definitely think there's some design things about this dress that I wish I could change, but I'm going to keep it. I think it's pretty. Um, I just think this piece runs a little bit smaller than the others. Um, I am heavier on the bottom, so keep that in mind, but I'm a size 20 jean. It should have fit at a 2X. So I don't know. I kind of wish I'd gone with a 3X. I kind of wish it didn't have these bell sleeves but maybe I'm just boring. It's a possibility. Okay, so this next piece I got off on Etsy and it's, it's, I got off on Etsy. This next piece I got off Etsy and it is more of a fun piece. I actually got this before Black Friday, but you know, I haven't shown anyone and just arrived with everything else. So um, I gotta show you now. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a Survivor fan and that means I'm a Jeff Probst fan and I go, most every week we've been sick the past month so my friend and i have been like team tagging a cold so we haven't gone in the, in the last couple of weeks but uh we go to a brewery to watch uh survivor with other people and i love it it's great energy you have all these different survivor fans in there and we're laughing and you know <gasps> with everyone else and that's great um so i had to get myself a jeff's probst shirt to wear to survivor night i don't typically love these shirts and i'll admit i still don't love the fit on it I'm, I like things to be fitted. I realize now that I'm a little bit more on the feminine side. So this just feels kind of masculine to me. It's like big in the shoulder and I got like no shoulders, but I rolled up the sleeves and I do like that it has a, some like acid effect on it. And you know, I gotta rep my Jeff. So I am excited about it. I actually think it does look cute and um, it, I haven't washed it yet. So I need to wash it and see how it goes. But I like the style, I think it's cute. I'm ready to rep, rep some Jeff and uh, I think it's really fun to wear. So my cat came to visit and by came to visit, I mean she got near me. So near enough to grab equals she wants me to pick her up. That's how it works in this household, right maybe? So maybe. Do you love me? Maybe. You love me? You do? Okay, maybe. Will you let me film now? I love you, maybe. Back to our regular schedule program and I keep feeling like I have fuzzies everywhere. There's an Instagrammer I follow over on Instagram and I'm blinking on the name because that's what happens in my brains, but I'll put it up on the screen. She's a New Yorker, she has great fashion, and she wears this beautiful robe in all of her pictures when she's getting ready. And, you know, she said that it was from Anthropology, and I have to say, when I went on the sale site, it was sold out in plus sizes. So I got the medium large, and I was like, maybe it'll run big, maybe it'll be fine. And it's too small. It's so gorgeous, though. Oh my gosh, I love the print so much. And, you know, it could be just a fun one for me. Like, you know, it's okay if I'm spilling out of my own robe. It doesn't have to be something I share, you know, with the world. Or maybe I do. I do think it'd be really beautiful in a boudoir photography shoot if I ever do that again. Um, but I got it in a medium-large because they only had small, medium, medium-large. And I am in love with the print. But it's too small, specifically in my bum, bottom, bum, bum, bottom, bottom area. I don't know how to talk anymore. So, you know, I think I'm gonna keep it because I already got it on sale, but I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for the plus size version because it is really gorgeous and I'd love it to like actually fit all the way. Um, but I do think it's really cute, like open and you can wear this out, you know. I mean, you guys tell me, is it too lingerie looking? I think you could wear it out as like a kimono or something. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious, I'm curious what you would do. Is this something you could see yourself wearing out you know, over a dress or over jeans and a black top? Or is it something that is too lingerie looking? I'm curious. Okay, so Eloquy constantly has good sales. And even though they have really good sales, I haven't shopped from them in over a year, if not maybe two years. And that's just because every time I get their pieces, I'm a bit disappointed. Now, I loved Eloquy when they first started. I don't know what it is between me and Eloquy, I don't know why we can't get along, 
But you know, a lot of their styles, I just think there's something about them that make them not wearable to me. Um, and then I've had fit issues, typically being that the bust and shoulders are too large and the hips are too small. I just think they have a, a fit model who's shaped differently than me. Um, but I saw they had a sale and I saw a dress that I liked and it's this striped dress. Now they actually have it in like moodier colors and initially I wanted that one, but they were out of it in my size. So I saw the berry colored one. I was like, that's still really pretty. Let's give it a go. So I got it in 1820. Um, I will say like, look at this dress. Look at how slim it is. It's tight. Um, it's not uncomfortable in my body, but I do feel like the neck is pretty tight and it is a, definitely a true turtleneck, you know, so it's got that long collar. Um, this is again where I could kind of wish they had just not done a fold over collar. I realize a fold over collar is part of the style, but it's just not comfy. It's just a lot of fabric at your neck. So I kind of just wish, you know, mock neck or something. I don't know. I don't know if this is something that a tailor can help me with. Um, but you know, I can wear it folded over. It does fit, um, but I have to squeeze my head through it and it messed up my tiny little bun. I already have hardly any hair in there and it squished it. So I'm having some feelings against this dress, but I do think it's really pretty on. Um, it was $35. So you let me know how you feel about this dress. I'm kind of like, do I love it? Do I hate it? Do me and Eloquie just not get along? You know, that that might be a possibility. I, I am glad I paid $35. I don't think this fabric is very soft or anything. Um, hey, hey, Maeve. Um, so I'm glad I did $35. Let's just say it that way. Okay, so we only have a couple more pieces and one of them um, is actually the same. It's actually two pieces in two different colors. So, um, Again, me trying to find like reds that I want to wear. I saw this piece for on sale at Target. Even full price is $15, but it was even on sale from that. Got an XXL, it's from Universal Thread, and it's this tomato-y red um, ribbed v-neck. And it does fit me pretty well. I really like it. It is a little bit more cropped in terms of length. So this is something I'd wear tucked into jeans probably. Um, but I really like the color, and I wasn't sure the reviews were kind of eh on it, quite frankly. But I am glad I got it, and I think the XXL was the right size for me. Um, I also got it in a white, but let me show you the jeans first, because I think the way I filmed it, you don't see the white one until I try on the jeans. So I, I mentioned that I've kind of gotten really into flares, and the first flare I got was a pair from Universal Standard, and I'll put that video in right now. Um, they sent me the style. It's called the Farrah High Rise Flare Jeans, and... I fell in love. Like, let me tell you, I felt like a baddie in those jeans, okay? I loved it. So um, they had a denim sale during Black Friday, and I was able to get them on sale for, I think, around $75 each. So I decided to get two more colors. Um, and I will say I'm 5'4", so I'm a little bit short for these. I have, to wear, I have to wear some tall boots, okay? So I got this, like, really true blue denim jeans. I get these in a size 20 from Universal Standard. And these are not oversized. Like they have stretch, but they're they're gonna hold you in, okay? So these fit you and they go to your body. They conform to your body. But really like the flare on here. And I feel like they're not too flared. Like they're flared without being comically flared. The toward flare is a little bit more flared than this style is. Now, the target top I also had in white. And of course I didn't put any of them in the right direction. So here's a top in white, pretty basic. Um, same exact top, ribbed, white, we get it, right? Um, and I wore that with this color of those flare jeans. Now this one I really like, like I love a light denim. I used to not like it, but I do like it now. Again, in a size 20, but this one I believe is their like distressed vintage and it does have distressing just on one knee and it fits me perfectly at the right part of my knee, which I really like. The distressing beyond that is really small amounts of distressing, like you can see it right here uh, on the pocket. It's not too distressed, and that's the way I like my distressing. I want a little bit of distress, a little bit of a worn look, but not like everything cut up everywhere. So this is, quite frankly, a perfect jean for me, and I think my bum looks amazing in them. So, <laughs> pat on the back for that one. So that's the wrap up of my Black Friday purchases. And of course, some of those gifted items I got around the same time. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been buying and wearing lately. And I hope to be back very soon with you over here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.